Great Coast Munchies. Today, we're gonna make grilled Charlie my way and Charlie's way. Okay, the butter goes on in the peanut butter. Hmm? Peanut what are you butter doing? going to milk? With Don't, do not put peanut butter on that. What? A grilled Charlie is peanut butter last. Okay, either inside or peanut outside. Peanut butter outside. Chocolate inside. Right. Butter inside, cheese outside. Go away. First, we'll make a grilled Charlie Charlie's way. I'm gonna start off with a good old craft single and slap it on a greased non-stick pan or griddle. Just sit there and get hypnotized watching that cheese bubble away. Once the entire piece of cheese is fully melted and fully bubbling from the center to the outsides, you can start seeing just a little bit of brown around the edges, throw a piece of bread on top. You'll then want to line that piece of bread with a good five or six little squares of butter. Just get a good even spread. You don't, you don't want uneven butter on your sandwich. Same with the chocolate sauce. Grab your bottle of chocolate sauce and give a good even pattern on there. You don't, you don't want uneven chocolate sauce. After you're satisfied with the uniformity of your butter and chocolate sauce, throw a piece of bread on there and give it a little tap. Then you're gonna wanna flip that bad boy over and get the other side nice and crispy. After you've waited a few minutes and you think that other side is nice and crispy, give it a flip over again. You're gonna apply a thin layer of peanut butter evenly uniformly to the entire top. Make sure no bread is unpeanut buttered. And there you go, you got a grilled Charlie. Now we're gonna make a grilled Charlie how I would make a grilled Charlie if I wanted a grilled Charlie. I'm gonna start with two nice slices of provolone, put them on that grease non-stick top, Turn the heat up and let them bubble away until they start getting nice and golden crispy right around the edge and are fully melted. Then I like to use a bread with a little bit more heft to it. So I grab a ciabatta roll. I'm gonna split it in half and lay the outsides right on top of that cheese. Give it, give it a nice little press in there. Make sure it's stuck nice and good. Then, instead of chocolate sauce, you're gonna wanna smear a nice heap of Nutella right on there. Then on the opposite side, you'll throw four thick squares of butter on there. Sit back and relax and wait until your cheese is nice and brown all around the edges and you can tell it's getting nice and crispy. Then you can go ahead and flip the top onto the bottom or the bottom onto the top. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. Then if you timed it right, your cheese should look beautiful just like this. It's a real shame I'm going to have to put some peanut butter on top of it. But I think Charlie would be proud. Then you'll slap a layer of peanut butter all across the top of this thing. And that's how I'd make a grilled Charlie. But I guess it's really not a grilled Charlie if it's not a grilled Charlie, you know? Now it's time to give these a try. Never actually had a grilled Charlie before. I'm in general not into this. I, I don't think it's gonna be very good. It, it doesn't look that bad. Really, it's just chocolate and peanut butter with some cheese and butter. Like, it can't be that bad. And it's actually pretty darn good. I'm not usually a fan of chocolate sauce, but with the extra butter, 
the peanut butter. It's kind of just like a chocolate peanut butter butter sandwich. And you get a little salty savory from the cheese. It's really not that bad at all. It isn't anything like what I thought it would be. But this other one here, I actually really enjoyed. It was way better than the original Grilled Charlie. More cheese so you get more of that salty, bigger, fluffier bread to soak up all that butter and chocolate Nutella, which was definitely a step up from the chocolate syrup. And then just a nice layer of melty peanut butter on top. I actually really, really enjoyed it. It was definitely, definitely the winner of these two. It's definitely got a nice bit more heft to it. Definitely more filling, but way more fluffier and dessert-like. I, I may actually eat one of these. Like, it's not that bad. Yep, I'm sorry, Charlie. Th this is definitely the loser in the situation. I'm definitely gonna keep munching on this. I could definitely see a group of friends being over. Maybe you guys are a little intoxicated. Want to blow their minds real quick. Whip a couple of these up. Could be a real good time. I mean, heck, even this little guy wants some. Hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. Like if you like grilled Charlies. And not like this is really a recipe. But subscribe if you want more recipes.